around people that talk about they won't kill themselves, you're going to probably kill yourself. Yes. Amen. Because you ain't got no strength to help them because they pulling you down. But where do you take pick people like that? Yes. Bring them to the church. Amen. Bring them into the storehouse yes. so they can be made whole. Bring yes. them into this place. Let me tell you, I got, I'm got. i preaching already. Yes, you are. I'm really Yes. Ready. I'm going to tie those. Yes. The woman with the issue of blood, amen, she had an issue. And it's important that we talk about this scripture all the time. But she had an issue for 12 years, amen. You can sit down and think, Shannon. She had an issue. For 12 years, CJ. Yes. 12 years. She was going through. I can see everybody now. What's up, man? How you doing? She had an issue for 12 years. For 12 years, her issue bothered her. Y'all know this story, don't you? Have you heard it before? I never heard the story before. Some of y'all know what I talk about a little bit. That's, that, right. that's not what I was going to preach. But I'm going to talk about her issue. Her issue was a blood issue. And it's something that happens to women once a month. Yes. Y'all know what y'all come on once a month, yes. right? Yes. Well, imagine being on that for 12 months every day. Can you imagine that? How how you would be? How mean you would be? How, I know you'd be so irritable. And you wouldn't want nobody around you. you want to chop somebody's head off with it. Yes. Because for one month, for one week yeah. after month, you turn into something else. Another yes. type of person. That's why you really need God in your life. Amen. Yes. But you do that because of how you're feeling, right, women? You do that because of the, amen, how, how it's affecting your bloodstream, right. how it's right. affecting your, your balance, your balance yes. is off. And, and we understand that as men, amen, to under, we, we ought to understand that, men, amen, especially when you love somebody, that this is that time of the month. So we want to understand them and yes. how, we get, how we get through it is by being in God, too. Yes. Because when you got God, you understand those ways. You understand yes. that snapback. Amen. And you can deal with it when you got God in your life. Yes. And the woman can deal with it when she has God. Yes. She don't have to be mean and nasty. She ain't got to be mean, but she's still going to be feeling pain. Amen. Let me tell y'all where that scripture at because you might want to reference it and go back. I see Keisha already helped out. You, are you at it, that scripture, Keisha? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Luke, Luke the eighth chapter. It's not what I'm going to preach for today. I'm going to give you this and get y'all out of here. But I'm so glad to see you. Yes. I welcome you today in this friend and family. And I'm only going to talk about this scripture because, hey amen, I think you need to know about it. It's a really good scripture. Luke, the 8th chapter, and uh, verse 43. Luke, the 8th chapter, verse 43. And then I'm going to try to tie this even up with um, I'm going to go over from there to James the first James 1 and verse 12 if you got a pen you want to write it down amen but Luke the 8th chapter verse 43 and the Bible says and a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which had spent all her livings upon positions Neither could be healed of any. But you gotta understand, you gotta look at the scripture. It says that and she had this thing for 12 years, but she spent all her livings upon positions. So which means all the money that she had, everything she had, she spent it trying to get delivered. When you're going through something for 12 years, now I just broke it down to y'all for one month. For one, we got the money. Yes. She was doing this for 12 years. Every day. Yes. Every day for 12 years. I would think she's going to be delivered. When you, yes. Don't you think something needs to happen if you're doing this for 12, 12 years oh, every yes. day? Out the, out the week. I mean, every day. So this woman was desperate. She needed help. Just like many of us. She needed something from the Lord. She was she was, she, was so, she was so desperate, it didn't matter what she had. She just wanted to be delivered. Oh, yes. And we got to be careful when we get desperate. Because when we get desperate for some deliverance, we'll do some things you wouldn't think we would do. Yes. Amen. Let your rent need to be paid. Yes. And you looking at this thing. And you let let let, let your, your family member be going through and they need some money. And you know how to go get some money. Because most of us men and women, 
We know how to get our hustle on. Is that true? Yes. Am I talking to some hustlers yes. in the house today? You know how to hustle? Yes. Hey, just because you come to God, don't think you forget how to hustle. Amen? But see, when you come to God, we got to remember that if I'm in Christ, I'm a new creature now, right? Yes. So yes. that means I got to trust him and acknowledge him in all my ways, and he will direct my path. But see, when we come up against struggles and obstacles, and we come up against situations, and we're pressured, and we feel like giving up, and we feel like throwing the towel in, and we feel like I got so much on me, I can't bear it no more. Yes. We'll look over there at our friend that looks so attractive that makes great money. He got about $1,200 in his pocket right now. And he got that thing in 10 minutes. And you over here sitting with $10 in your pocket, but you belong to Christ now. Oh, yeah. This is how the devil does it. You belong to Christ now. You sitting there like, and he laughing at you saying, man, you used to have the same 1200 in your pocket. But I got, I got me, but you got you got your God, though. That's what you wanted. He over there saying, come on, man. You're looking at your situation. You're looking at your wife and your girlfriend and, and your family. And don't have a child also. Oh, it's not went to the next level. Oh, yes. Don't have a house note and, and everything now. It's not went to another level. Now you got pressure on you, but you need some money. What you think the devil going to do to you? Come on over here. Come on, man. Matter of fact, I'll give you the money if you take this bag with you, too, and double that. So you mean tell me you'll give me the 1200 that, that take care of what I need, but that 1200 could be the worst 1200 you ever receive in your life. Yes, yes. Because that 1200 man, you sold your soul to the devil. A woman. It don't have to be no man because women get their hustle on too. That's right. They know how to do it. Yes. We're living in a time boy, where a woman will run a, run a circle around. You better watch out. Mm -hmm. Can't fake them now. They know what it is. Yeah. And they have all your money in your pocket and you'll be sitting there trying to figure out what happened. What's going on? But the cookie has got you and messed you up. Amen, somebody. It'll mess you up. We got to stay focused on Christ. We got when you come to God, the Bible tells us in James, it said, submit yourself to God. Oh yes. Then he said, resist the devil. And he will flee. The only way we can resist the devil is by submitting ourselves to God because God has all the power. We don't have the power to do it. And in our own might, we can't do it. It's not possible in our own might. But in God, you ever heard the scripture, I can do all things through Christ. That's the way you do it. Yes. That's the yes. way you survive. And then you get on your knees and you say, Lord, I'm your child now. We can talk to the Lord. I belong to you. You see this 1,200 men flashed in my face. You know that I used to be in the dope game. You know I know how to get the hustle on. And I'm trying to serve you. I want to be with you, God, but it's rough right now. Things are happening all around me. I'm pushed. I'm, I'm troubled on every side. I'm distressed. I'm pressured. I feel like giving up. Hey, man, I'm about, to, I'm about to blow a gasket here, God. I need your help right now. And God, I'm telling you, he'll make a way out of nowhere. Oh, yes. Let me tell you what happened to me, amen. I'm, I'm kind of hope y'all following me. Me and First Lady, because God, the devil don't care about me neither. Mm -hmm. He don't care that I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. He want to see me fall. He want to see, uh, he, this, this, I'm number one. Y'all think y'all get attacked. Oh my God, if you only knew the attack to come on me and my family. Oh, yeah. Because if God can't get me, who do we come after next? Damn. Our kids. Then if he can't get me, kill, attack my family. The people that I love, God, the devil heard me say I love y'all today. He heard that. He heard me say I love you today, man. Amen. And so you know what the devil going to do? Man, I'm going to take all that. He should have been saying all that stuff he said today. What you think about it? What you think about what he was saying? That's what the devil do. But you got to say, man, man love us. That's he right. told us the truth today. Yes, yes. Whether I'm living this life or not, but he, he sure told us the truth. And I believe him. Because it sounds pretty, pretty convincing to me. He, he, he know what he was talking about. He called a, a hoax or something else, but he still knew what he was talking about. And I probably still just called it something else. Yeah. Say it again, Jim. See? 
There you go, but my heart is in the right place. Yes, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that down. A hookah. No, don't write it down. I'm going to write it down because I need to talk to some young people. And those hookahs, are, the hookahs, I told y'all, they're bad for you. Yeah, what did I tell you about that? They're bad for you. Yeah, because when you smoke the hookah and you heat it up, the plastic, the plastic is going into your lungs. Mm. Just found that information out. Mm. Amen. And a lot of people think that they're just smoking a uh, 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 herb or just smoking just a uh, vape. It's a vape. Oh, it's just, it's, 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 not, it's not harming me. I'm good. And then you're just smoking a scent, a pina colada, or whatever, uh, herb, or not herb, but whatever vapor you want to smoke. And you just blow it out. It's a taste. Yeah. Well, the long results of it gets into your lungs and it kills you right on. They didn't tell you that. The vapors are all right. But what's behind it is that the particles, when you heat it up, that you can't see. Every time you put it, it's going right down to your lungs. Every time you pull it, it's getting down to your lungs. So later on, when y'all get my age, and you're trying to breathe, and you're trying to figure out, oh, you ain't going to be able to go sue them people with the hoses. They probably not got out of it by the end. Because they know what it was doing to you people. They know everybody that's smoking this is what it's doing. So now you can't, breathe. you can't breathe. And now it takes you out. That's what the devil's job is. To kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. He want to take all of us down. So let me tell you this right quick. Me and my wife, we were going through a situation. And as we were going through, we were about to lose the house. We were about to lose everything. Everything around us seemed like it was going down. And one day in the church. Now I believe in keeping my business in my house. Y'all ever teach y'all y'all family that to tell you what happened in our house stay in our house. We don't tell our business. Y'all want to talk about that? We don't, I don't care what we're going through. We don't tell our business in the street. But in God, it's all right to tell. In the right place. Yes. With the right people. Yes, yes. Right now, it's all right yes. for these tears yes. of death. Yes. I'm not going to talk about it. I understand. I've been there. Oh, yeah. This is the place to cry. This is the place to let it out. Yes. This is the place to tell it. Yes. Hey, I'm struggling. I'm dealing. I'm going through. Okay, what are we going to do about it? We're going to pray about it. We're going to come up with a solution. We're going to come up with a plan. And the ultimate plan is to stay in God. And so we can do something about it in this place. It's when you get outside of there. When you start crying into the school and you tell them, oh, I'm going through in my house. Next thing you know, they come lock your mama up. Your, your family not going this way. And, oh, yeah, that's what the school, they train that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, this young girl, she's she's drawing pictures of, of dead people. Something's going on in her mind. Oh, let's investigate. I'm just making this up. I hope it's not happening. But if it is, talk to one of us. Because we still, we train too. I'm trained. Yes. But I'm yes. trained by God also. Yes. All right? All right? I'm yes. trained. I'm not trying to get you in trouble and destroy your home. But if there's something going on, we need to know so we can deal with it. Yes. Amen? Yes. But you deal with it and take it to the school, they deal with it in a way. They come in and they divide all y'all. And they got trained people. They just sit there and look. Next day, you know, you're in a foster home trying to figure out what in the world happened. Well, something was going on with you. You needed delivery. But the place to be delivered in is in the house of God. Amen, amen. Amen. If I always said, this is where you need to come. Don't, don't get away from the church. Make it a habit. It ought to be a habit of yours. I don't care what. Just like you go to work every Monday. We got to have, we're going to work every why are we going to work? We're going to work because we need money. Oh, yes. And we don't go to work, the bills ain't going to get paid, right? That's right. Well, then if you don't come to the Lord, then your soul ain't going to get fed. That's right. And if your soul don't get fed, then anything the devil can hit you with, you're going to fall apart, I'm telling you now. And this type of thing, when it hits you, you can't smoke your way out of it. You can't drink your way out of it. Matter of fact, you're doing more. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you'll be up to 20 packs a day. Next thing you know, you'll be up to a gallon of alcohol a day. And you'll be trying to figure out, you try, all you're trying to do is be delivered. You just want some help. You're just trying to get out of it, but you're getting more in depth. You're getting caught up. Now, next thing you know, you're not even paying attention to your daughter. The devil that came in there, he got your daughter now. Now, she messed up. And you, you, she trying to tell you, mama, something is happening to me. 